most of my life, guys, I've you know dealt with a fair amount of anxiety. You know, it's the same thing that's pushed me to go achieve goal X, goal Y. You know, make A's, go do this on the basketball court. Like you know, that's how I'd always set goals because that anxiety, you know, puts me on alert to, you know, tackle the next objective. You know, that you set forth for yourself. You know, on the, you know, on the same same side of the coin, it's also kind of. Uh, Anxiety, it's just something that just sits always there in your brain and just kind of goes and goes and goes. And just kind of makes you just a little bit of a you know, nervous wreck sometimes. And so that's been something that's just been in my life, you know. It's been a great facilitator for me to just, I think, create and achieve what I want to, but at the same time, it's uh, also a detriment, something I've always had to harness and try to, I guess, corral, you could say. And that's like today, like, you know, this presentation on mindfulness and meditation. I'm just going to like just share with you just something I've been doing lately just from to find that stillness allows me to be present here in this moment and not be so caught up in what I have to get done next or I got to go drive out here to go do this and you get all these anxiety it's just do 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 that's anxiety I think y'all can resonate with that and so I'm just going to share with you just a little little technique I've been doing lately to just help corral myself in this like calm environment so this is just going to be like me doing it, you know, there's no acting, this is like what I would do if there was no camera here. So for me, I've been going and trying to breathe on a one, four, two count, ratio of one, the one on the one, four, two is for the inhale. So the inhale part of the breath, and then the four would be for the pause at the top of the breath, and then the two that I'm referring to would be on the exhale. I personally, so I've been keeping a ratio, my inhale, when I'm not forcing it, when I'm not, you know, trying to make it happen, it goes up on about a three. Three kind of takes me on the inhale. So for me, my breathing pattern, to get in this kind of relaxed state, because this breathing pattern help elicits this very relaxed response in your body, helps you deal with stress and be calm, it would be, it would turn out to be three, twelve, six. And so that's the breathing pattern I'm going to fall into for a bit, I'm going to do that for well, 3 plus 12 plus 6, that's 15, plus 6, that's 21 seconds. I'll do that roughly 6 times. 6 times? I'm going off the cuff here. Maybe we won't, won't go that long, okay? I'll just do it for like 4 to 5. It'll give me roughly a minute of that. And you're just going to see the cadence of how I'm performing this. It's not something that you can then apply and do for however many rounds and how many breaths you want to do. So I'm just going to show you that. Pull in the moment, we're going to go for it. So I only did three there, but you, you see from the point of like making that calm inhale and then pause at the top, facilitating this down regulation of our body. And that's like it helped me like I'm present. You know, you might have those thoughts still coming around, but just when you have those, just recognize them and then just try to look at them. Observe your thoughts and don't become attached to them. That's what we're trying to do in like the meditation setting. So you just keep doing that breathing pattern. You know, that's what I would just, that's what I'm giving you today. Don't worry about a lot of the cues with you know, your navel placement and like your posture, but just, just the breathing aspect of it. Just breathe on a one, four, two count. When you get stressed, go into that one, four, two count if possible, or just slow, deep breaths. But apply that if you want to really get into a meditation practice, that'd be a good start. And there'll be more I can share, but I think that's a good starting point. So everyone, please take that. I hope it helps you just become more mindful in your day. 
It just allows you to just approach everything with a better mindset and just feel better overall so you can give more to other people. Mobility, check it out. Links are in the bio, in the description. Connect with me, let me know. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever. Have a good one. Yeah, hands are freaking.